Hello everyone, my name is Joshua Rudd and today I answer the question, how far your ceiling should be from your grow light? This assumes that you are using an LED light, which is the most efficient type of grow light today. The seedling phase is the most important phase because of what happens in this stage affects the plant long into adulthood. So now we're going to, I'm going to give you a short answer if you're busy, or if you want to stick around, I go more in depth afterwards. As always, check out the description for more information. All right, so here are my seedlings, and the answer is it depends on the grow light, which is the short answer. Um, if you're using LED lights, which you should be, it can be very close because they generate very little heat. If you are using full spectrum grow lights, which again, you should be using full spectrum, then measure the light with a lumen tester to get at least 30 to 40 K lumen and keep the lights on 24 hours a day. Here is my lumen tester and there it is between 30 and 40 K lumen. So right here we have tomatoes, we have little strawberries that I'm growing from seed, we have lettuce, we have arugula, and we have spinach. So you can grow plenty of types of seedlings under this light, that's really close. Let's see how close it is, and we'll grab a little measure stick. And you can see that it is, hard to see, but that's six inches away from the tops of majority of the plants. So you can you can really, really get them really close. I can put my hand on this, right? It's it's barely hotter than room temperature. Barely hotter, I, it did not even feel warm. Like you, if you were cold, this would not warm you up. That's your short answer. Okay, so long answer. So I'm gonna show you my process of how I go from seedling, seed to seedling, to adult plant. Okay, so first I start off here in this dome. Uh, sorry about the gurgling, but that's just how my flow system works here. You can see it flows. And then over here, it kind of slurps. Anyway, so here is my seedlings here. This is only day two of these seedlings, and so I keep them under this mat here. And I keep them under this light as close as possible. I don't use a heat mat. I tried using a heat mat before, it gets way too hot. So I use what very little heat comes from here to kind of warm this up and it works really well. As you can see, you got condensation. So as soon as they sprout up, I don't let them sit in there too long, maybe, uh, as soon as I, they, they, the seeds start sitting upright, I'll move them over here. As a matter of fact, I put these ones in here yesterday. So that, that, that's pretty much how big they should be when you, when you take them out. You don't want to keep them in there too long because they'll get moldy and they're gross. So, and of course I wait till, um, so this kind of this this rock will cube here kind of like has a lot of roots sticking out of it and the plant has grown up into this light before I move it into an adult plant. Usually, normally an adult plant has several um, adult leaves. So these are seedling leaves right here. Each plant normally has a seedling leaf. Even this little tiny baby strawberry, you see the, those little leaves right there. And then that one in the center that's the strawberry leaf, adult strawberry leaf, and the ones on the outside of the seedling leaf. And so once there's a few pairs of adult leaves, like right here, that's an adult leaf, that's a seedling leaf, then it's an adult plant and you can move it out of your seedling system. Um, all right, so I keep the light on 24 hours a day. So the reason why I do that is I don't want leggy plants. So the easiest way to tell if there's a leggy plant is if a plant cannot stand up on its own. As you can see, all these tomato plants, they stand up on their own. And you'll see plants that aren't getting a knife and they're stretching and, and uh, reaching. I'll show you a picture of one on my right here. And as you can see, it's stretching and reaching and it's not really standing up on its own. That's usually what happens when you don't thin out your seedlings. Like for example, this lettuce plant here, before I move it over to the adult plant, I'm going to thin out all of these seeds, seedlings. 
and just leave one adult plant, usually the biggest, like this one right here or something. So I showed you already how many lumens this is. I try to keep it around 300 to 400 lumens. Um, if you're using non-spectrum grow lights, they don't work. So the purple and red, this lumen to tester doesn't work at all. You'll have to use uh, a power meter, which costs 200 bucks and this only costs 30 bucks. So I prefer full spectrum grow lights because you can measure it this way. Um, LED lights, honestly, if, you, if you're not using LED lights, I highly recommend using, they're so efficient, way better power usage, low heat. Um, you, so if they're low heat, you can keep them really close together. At, you could stack them like this, as you can see here. I have two rows right underneath each other. Um, if you had like halogen lights or stuff like that, or these expensive, you know, fluorescent light tubes and stuff like that, you have to keep them really far away from the plant because the heat they generate will, will burn and scorch your plants, which you don't want. Okay, hey, so that's all I have for you. That's how far away your seedlings should be from your grow light. Um, as you can see, one more thing, uh, as you can see, these, these are adjustable. So often what I do as the plant grows, uh, I, I sometimes I move this, uh, this grow light up a little bit to kind of make sure they don't touch. Like, you know, once it kind of gets out of the, the 400 range, which is fairly close, I kind of want to move it back a little bit because I don't want it actually touching the light because if it touches the light then it'll burn so that's all i have for you today we'll see you in the next video don't forget to check out my stuff in the description and give me a like if you like this video hope i answered your question Bye bye